Hello, and uh, welcome along to another training session with a lady, my English setter. She's now around four and a half months old, still very young. What I've been doing with her in the last few days is um, I've been working on the retrieving. You might remember she'd retrieve a dummy, um, not to hand, but she'd carry it back to me basically. And that isn't an issue, but uh, as soon as I introduced a pheasant swing or anything with feathers on it, if you throw that for her, she'll run off with it and uh, proceed basically to eat it, which is her natural instinct, of course. So, <coughs> in an attempt to remedy that, what I did was I fixed the pheasant's uh, wing to the dummy, and that didn't solve the problem. She, once she got the the scent of the pheasant swing on the dummy, she took it away again to ease it. So, in order to try and remedy that, that problem, what I've been doing is I brought her to basically an alleyway at the side of my house where whatever I throw for her, she has no option but to come back to me. She has no place else to go. There's a wall either side, so she can't get away. So she has no option but to come back to me. So what I've been doing is I've been throwing the dummy on its own say three or four times and she'll bring that back quite easily each time and then what I've now started to do is I've started to add a couple of feathers not the full wing just a couple of feathers and you can notice um, a change in her immediately that you put the feathers on the scent switches her into another gear so to speak but again when I throw it she now has no option but to come back to me so I've been working on that um, for the last few days and um, I'll update you on the progress, uh, if any, in time. Another thing that's happening is when I bring her out to field, she's now starting to range quite a bit. So I'm going to try and rein her back in because I don't want her to, to lose her, so to speak. Because what can happen is she can start to hunt for herself and the next thing she'll be a white spot basically in the distance. And I certainly don't want that. I've seen that problem arise a lot of times. So I'm now going to try and rein her in and try and keep her working tighter towards me. Now, um, how I'll do that is I'm going to have to exert a little bit of pressure on her. In other words, I'm going to have to start basically uh, giving out to her, growling at her basically, and to try and keep her tighter to me. So that's what I'm going to try and do today. So see you shortly in the field. Now I brought Lady to this field here and I've deliberately chosen this field because the grass is relatively short and although it'll probably hold some scent, there won't be as much scent is, as in the fields I normally go to where I deliberately go where there's scent where there's long grass which will hold birds and stuff. So what I'm going to try and attempt here is try and keep her from ranging too far. When she pushes out what I deem to be too far I'm going to start, um, like I said, put a little bit of pressure and I'm going to start growling at her and conning her back in. Now this is a process that is going to be very frustrating and patience of a saint is required sometimes depending on how headstrong the pup is and how um, how um, much it's going to listen to you. So at this age they tend to want to do what they want to do themselves and um, they prefer to do their own thing obviously than to listen to the trainer so this can be very frustrating so um, hopefully I'll hold my patience we'll see how it goes so I'm just gonna let lady go here now good girl Come on in. beans now today because she hasn't actually been out for two days um, due to the Christmas period and all that. A little bit of scent there now, whatever it is. Come on lady, come on. Hey, come on. Dead, obviously. Get on. Come on. Come on. Hey, 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 hey. 
Get out of here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Playing with some dandelions there. Switched into hunting uh, mode yet. She's not pushing out as she was. Lady! Good girl! Descent here again. Lady is approximately a little more than a hundred yards away from me, and if she comes back of her own volition. I didn't even need to call her, so another positive. Come on, good girl, good girl. Now, lady's heading for the ditch here, and the ditch is approximately a hundred yards away. So, as soon as she hits the ditch, I'm going to call her and see will she come back, lady. Lady! Hey! Lady! Oh, you see the frustrating part, she has a scent over there. And as I said earlier, it's unreasonable to expect it out to come back when they're on a... on a scent like that, but here she comes anyway. Good girl! Good girl! Good girls! Good girls! There she goes again, all the way out to the ditch. And again, I'm going to try and call her. Lady! Lady! Now, pay no heed. Now, here she comes. Lady! Hey! Lady! 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 I'm trying to attract her attention. Yeah, have it now. Good girl! Good girl! Good girl! There we are. The recall, as I say, is the foundation of all training with a dog. If, you, if your dog won't recall, you're in trouble from the start. So I would suggest to anyone to work on your recall. Get your dog coming back to you and give them plenty of praise when they do. And uh, it's a good foundation for future training. Good girl. Lady. And that would be the perfect response. Needless to say, it won't happen all the time. Hey, 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 lady. She just saw a crow. <laughs> good girl, sit. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. That's a good girl. Come on. Now. So I'm happy with that. That's progress. Now, as I explained earlier, this is the dummy with a few feathers just tied to it. This will be the first time trying this out in the open. She's been retrieving this. Well, when I say retrieving this, she's been carrying it towards me because she had no choice. As I already explained. So I'm going to try this for the first time out here in the open. Let's see how it goes. See that, but progress. She didn't bring it to me, but she brought it towards me, which is um, a big advancement on what she was doing, which was running off of it. So I'm going to try it once more. Lady, yeah, good girl, good girl, good girl, good girl, good girl. Now that's that's a great um, improvement. Once more now, just for. Insurance. Lady, lady. Good girl, good girl, good girl, lady, good girl, good girl. I'm very, very happy with that. Training works. You'll see that she'll run 
off and eat it basically. So that's massive advance in our training. So, um, very good progress in the brain. Now I've just got back from that short training session there with Lady and um, I'm very pleased with the way things went. I set out basically to um, to begin the process of reining her in because she had begun to range quite far. Now some people are happy to have their dog range quite far because it suits the sort of countryside basically that they're hunting. I want to keep Lady within around about 100 yards and maximum 150 yards if at all possible. Now some people would say well that's not far enough or whatever but if you're hunting the kind of ground I'm hunting it, it suits me to keep her in that sort of range bracket. So I set out today to begin the process of reining her back in because she had begun to, to range out quite far 300 yards at times. That's too far and if she got out of hand and basically started hunting for herself she'd be a white spot in the distance as I described earlier and that I don't want. So today began the process and it worked very well. The recall as I, is the foundation of, in my view, of all the training that will follow it. Once you have the recall you have some level of control and you can bring your dog back and start again. If you don't have the recall, your dog's going to be out there doing whatever it wants and you're going to have to be running after it, trying to catch hold of it to try. And it's a very frustrating and, and time consuming process. So I would urge anyone who's trying to train any kind of dog, particularly a hunting dog, to begin with the recall. It's vital in my view. Some people are happy to just let their dog run and do whatever they like. That's fine. It wouldn't suit me. Um, the other issue which I spoke about earlier, the retrieving thing that I'm on about. Now, some people um, would say that it's not part of a setter's job description to retrieve. And they're probably right in some respects. But I would like to have a retrieving, as I've already outlined. And um, I made quite a bit of progress today. The fact that she's bringing back the dummy with the feathers on it. Now, she's not bringing it to hand, but she's coming in my direction and bringing it in my direction as opposed to running off and eating it. So I've accomplished quite a lot today and I'm very pleased. So, um, the training continues. None of these things are set in stone now that I've begun them. This is a process and it's going to take time to build on this. I'm going to have to... Training can be boring at times because it's very repetitive and monotonous. You've got to keep doing the same thing. But it pays off in the end. So, again, thanks for watching and I uh, hope you gain something from this video.